How to use FreshBooks, FreshBooks accounting software for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on FreshBooks accounting software, how to use it, how you can create your invoices, expenses, and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to freshbooks.com and you will land on this platform right here. FreshBooks is an accounting software that gives us a lot of different options such as invoicing, expenses, time tracking, projects, payments, reporting, accounting, and more. So with FreshBooks, we can actually get started for free. So you have to click on try it out for free. In order to sign up, all you have to do is enter your email address and enter your password. You can also sign up with your Apple or Google account. After the initial sign up or sign in, this is where you will land. You can see this is our dashboard for fresh books so with fresh books dashboard uh this is like the basic view where i will be getting my create new option in create new we have these quick options to create an invoice to create an expense estimates and more then within our dashboard we are getting this menu where we have our clients invoices payments expenses estimates time tracking, projects, my team, reports, accounting, and add-ons. So we'll actually check it out one by one. First, let's add a client. So for that, we will go to the clients section here. To add a new client, we will be getting the option at the top here. Click on new client. Enter their first name, last name, and company name here. Then we have to enter the email address and phone number. We can also add a business profile and another uh, mobile number here and then we can add the address. So I'm going to click on add address here and enter the address. So here we have some of the client settings. We have set reminders, charge late fee, currency and language and invoice attachment. So with FreshBook, we have this option of actually adding the currency and language for each client manually. So this is actually a really good option. And then we can also add reminders. Once you have added all of these details, you can just click on save at the top and your new client will be created. Now we can create an invoice for the client that we just added. So I'll go to the invoice section here. To add a new invoice, you will click on this new invoice option at the top. So this is how we create an invoice on FreshBooks. So first of all, we have to drag and drop a logo here or any kind of file we want to. If you do not have a logo, you can just leave this option. We can also add uh, an image here. Then we have some of the details about our business that we have uh, added the information. Then we can scroll down to add the client. So click on select client and I will select the client we just created. So then we have the issue date. So this is where I'll add the issue date for today. Invoice number, it will be added automatically. And then we have due date. So in due date, I'm actually going to add three. This is going to be after normal days. Okay, so we'll go with this specific date here and I'm going to select this date. Then we have our amount due. So for that, we can scroll down a little bit to add a line. Once you add a line, now we will enter an item. So in item, what I will do is I'll maybe add an online session. So this is our product, any item that you actually sell or you're creating the invoice for. So for me, it's going to be this. And then we have to enter the rate here. So what I will do is I'll enter the rate, which is $100. Now we will enter the quantity. Let's say they actually ordered three. So we will go with this one. And this is going to be the amount due for this invoice. Now I can add another line for another product that we had. So maybe this is like a book and then we have to enter the rate, select the quantity. And now you can see it will be added to the due amount. Similarly, I can add more lines here and this is going to be the subtotal here. You can enter the tax amount or any other amount that you have and it will be summed up and you will uh, see the total uh, request. So this is our request to deposit, which is going to be 500. And then I can scroll down to add a file. So if you want to add any kind of attachment to the invoice, we can do that with this option. Here we have some of the settings for the invoice. With FreshBooks, we can accept online payments using any kind of method such as Stripe, PayPal. We can accept Visa and MasterCards. Then we have customized invoice styles. We have changed templates, colors, and fonts. Then we have make recurring invoices. So if you want to do that, you'll select this option. Then we have again send reminders, charge late fee, currency and language, invoice attachment. Once you're done, you can send to and it will be sent to the email address that you have just added uh, the customer or you can click on save. For now, I'm going to click on save and my new invoice will be saved with FreshBooks. Moving on, we have payments. 
in payments uh, i can again go to this section to add a new payment you have to click right here and then you have to enter the invoice. You can add any kind of invoice that you have created. Uh, so for instance, we just created an invoice. So I can add it right here and it will be added to my invoice payments here. We also have our checkout link payments and other income. So here you will enter all of the details. You will be able to see your payments, the invoices that you're getting. And it also shows you the profit and loss here with the other, uh, you know, income method. Similarly, we have expenses. So in expenses, you have to scroll down to select new expense here or at the top, you will be getting the option. We can create one manually or upload. So I'm going to create one manually. So here you will attach a receipt image, add your description, add your taxes, and then we have expense settings here. It will show you the total at the bottom. The look for the expenses actually looks really good and it looks like you're working with your documents and your notes. Click on save and new expense will be created. Then we have the estimates, time tracking and projects. So what we can do is if you work with billable and non-billable hours, if you, uh, you know, have a business where you have to track the time. So you will go to the time tracking here and this is our time tracking uh, for free. So what we do is you have to enter a new entry here, click on new entry and then you will select a client. You will select your team member, add your service and start, uh, you know, recording the time. For instance, you'll just click right here. So I am tracking the time for two hours and the entry will be added here. And now I can select if it's going to be billable or non-billable R. Similarly, we have my team and projects where I can manage my product, where I can manage my different projects, tasks, and uh, we will also be able to get the report. In reports, we have our stats and reports for all of our invoices, expenses, and we will be able to keep track of our budget. Let me show you the pricing plan for FreshBooks. With FreshBooks, we have a light for $17 per month, plus for $30 per month and premium for $55 per month. You will be able to see all of the different features given below. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.